Hey -o, everybody, Haku here with my live reaction or read through for Omniscient Reader or Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint, chapters 82, 83, and 84. As usual, I would love to do three chapters here. And last time, we ended at a heck of a cliffhanger. I just went back through the past couple chapters just looking at them, you know, and the catastrophe of questions is now awoken. We got bad RNG for Tokja, and we, we just got really cliffhung in the midst of things where I ended off last time. So I'm excited to continue reading to see what we end up with this time around. And yeah, I guess there isn't too much to talk about. Like I said, around like 109, I guess I'll do another character ranking. And I just, it's so crazy how I did a character ranking at like chapter 50. And in just 30-ish chapters since then, I feel like I know so much like I ranked the characters and I had characters that I really enjoyed but I feel like I barely knew any of them even at 50 chapters in but now here just at 82 chapters in or 81 because I haven't read 82 yet I feel like I know so much more in such a short amount of time and I have a deeper connection to so many more of them I mean there's a lot that we still don't know that much about like do we really know that much about Hyunsung uh, aside from like a very surface level not really same goes for Sang Ah but with Sang Ah it's not like the author is trying to develop her and just not doing that great a job no she is like specifically purposefully being made to be mysterious so it's like it's it's very much a um a purposeful thing but either way with all that aside let's just get into reading and see where we uh go this time around this is how twsa described them when they first appeared some travel back in time some travel to other dimensions and some are born again people have differing or different ways of surviving the apocalypse three ways to survive the apocalypse Okay, so some traveling to other dimensions is, I guess, kind of like where Lycaon is at this point, where he is uh, was originally from the destroyed Kronos, but now he's here. So some travel back in time, I guess would, and some are born again. So it, it's, it almost makes me think, would a regressor be somebody traveling back in time or somebody being born again? That's almost questionable in a way it almost feels like they'd be two different things like somebody who resurrects and somebody who regresses are different uh, but traveling to other dimensions i guess catastrophe of questions also counts there um number two in three ways to, er, to survive the apocalypse the people okay so since we had number two, number one, of course, is probably the regressor, somebody who travels back in time, Jun Kyuk. This is somebody who goes to other dimensions. So we aren't sure yet. Some being born again, I guess, honestly, that's Dokja, right? Because, I mean, hasn't he already? And then number two, in three ways to survive the apocalypse, the people who returned after destroying other dimensions for their survival. Returnee. And then... Hey, mister, what was that for? You gave me a fright. Was that your special move? Returnee er, Myung Il Sung. Damn it. Well, a wartime diary doesn't necessarily mean it's only full of battles. Just my luck. He's coughing up blood just from the one kick. You talk too much. And then he is just, what? it should have been me, not him, me. He's just getting jumped by the multiple Suyungs die and he's his design is like so cool he has the like wild caveman ish look and it's like it's so cool the way it's done you're pretty too how old are you are you in middle school shut up and die what's wrong with you did i do something I thought you'd welcome such a handsome returnee like myself with open arms. <laughs> I can't even read the rest of his sentence because of her. Hold on. How well can you see this? Her face on the right is insane. I'll kill even all the monsters. I'll even kill all the monsters for you. And I love how he just thinks, wow, I'm handsome. Shouldn't everybody love me? But then, like, everybody is just immediately trying to murder him. And it's cool. I just noticed in this panel up here, but I didn't say anything about it because I thought, eh, maybe it's the shading. Maybe I'm wrong. But it's like he has red markings on 
his arms going onto his shoulder blades. And then I had noticed last week the top of his face. I thought maybe it was a scar, but he has red marking at the top of his face. And now scrolling back up here to point this out, I notice on his lower back he has it too. What the hell are you on about, you nut job? Hey, that hurt my feelings. Hold on, could this be? Are you from the Hunters Association? Or you must be from the Hunters Association, right? They're, or they're the ones who usually pick fights with returnees. What are you saying, you lousy brat? There's no such thing. Uh, the third question's been answered. The fourth question's been answered. The fifth question's been answered. And then, shocked. Gee, 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 gee. So you are from the Hunters Association. So is he just going to continue to get stronger anytime anybody speaks back to him? But also... Is, does he just believe, like, I don't think she actually is. Does he just, like, believe his own delusions based on the questions he asks? The fifth seal on the returnee, Myung Yil Sung, has been broken. Fuck. <laughs> the three of them. This is bad. That's a good shot of Dog Chisel. I mean, again, I can't just stop every panel and talk about how good it looks, because that's just how I'm a reader. Is this going to be a new one? No, still Triple S Grade Talent Part 6. It's time to play. Who wants to die first? Hey, what the hell is this deal? Didn't I tell you not to answer him? Stop feeding him. It really is like feeding an enemy in like a, uh, a game. Just feeding uh, kills to an enemy. I didn't answer him. I was just cussing him out. Don't say anything. He takes any response as an answer. And he looks surprised. Oh, and the uh, markings look more tan and less red here, but his face still kind of looks like a scar. And he's able to seemingly block an attack from um, Sangha. Either that or he's the one that charged her, but it looks like he was the one reacting. She lands back, casts a web. What? Hermes is stroll, Theseus is resolution, Arachne's web. And it's interesting that they're all, those are all Greek, given that most of the stuff we've seen so far has mostly been Korean, with the exception of like the original ones that we were introduced to at the very beginning of the series. Those skills are undoubtedly stigmas of the Olympian constellations. But without having undergone, or undergone a special event, there's no way she can have all those stigmas from different constellations. I have only two. Sangha hasn't even read TWSA. Yeah, she wasn't in TWSA and she hasn't read TWSA. How did she obtain all those stigmas? And they all are still attacking. Looks like he's summoning power into his fingertip. Dokja, now! And he fires, but he's trapped under the web. And Dokja cuts through the web and into his shoulder. Damn it. And Myung Yil Song has used Blink, level one. And he vanishes. Damn it, he got away. The constellation secret of Plotter lets out a sympathetic sigh. The constellation prisoner of the golden headband is annoyed by how the stories come to a halt. The constellation Abyssal Black Flame Dragon nags its finger at you. Should it be Wags? Nags its finger at you, saying you should pick up the slack. Yeah, like these original ones, and of course the Demonic Judge of Fire, they are like the only like non-specifically Korean ones, really. The excitement level of some constellations has risen to dangerous levels. It's okay. We've done some damage, so we'll be able to catch him. And Sangha, you did great. Sangha? It seems like she's unconscious. Why am I a nanny? Why do you always make me carry whoever is passed out? I'm not a courier. And we have the avatar pissed carrying Sangha, but then also the actual her pissed in the foreground too. She used multiple stigmas, unless like I'm getting them backwards, but I figured she wouldn't use her real body for the carrying. She used multiple stigmas at full power. It must have taken a toll on her body. There are incarnations with stigmas of multiple constellations in TWSA. Hmm. But if my guess is correct, Sangha is the catastrophe of questions. 
Or, oh, he gets cut off. The catastrophe of questions. He gets stronger every time we answer his questions, right? Right. Since they're much stronger, returnees are penalized when they return to their worlds. You saw the seal being broken earlier, right? How many seals are there? Probably dozens. We're done for if all of them are broken. One thing we can count on is that there hasn't been an additional scenario yet. If everyone flocks to fight him, and those idiots answer all his questions to break the seal... I'm quite impressed. Despite the penalty, he's still a catastrophe, yet you three were able to corner him. But don't th er, but don't you think you're being too greedy? And we're seeing this one. I love the Dokubi designs. They're all so cool. How does that saying go? Sharing is caring. Crap. And we still see the, uh, what was it? Um, the terraforming taking place. Incarnations of Soul. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I've got some bad news. According to the actions of a group, or of a certain group of people, or due to the actions of a certain group of people, one of the catastrophes was hatched in Gandonggu. What? Who the hell was it? I can hear your lamentations all the way from here. I see a few of you are even trying to escape from the Gandonggu area. But you'll regret it if you do, because this catastrophe is an opportunity. And we see another avatar with um, Yu Jin Kyuk. Everyone, aren't you having a hard time earning coins? Your livelihoods collapsed overnight, then some strange beings started taking your coins, and your friends are now your enemies? At least you no longer had to go into work, but now the stars in the sky say to you, I'll give you a hundred coins if you dance like a monkey. A few constellations are cackling. I can tell from the way he speaks that I shouldn't take him lightly. He's not some low-level Dokubi. He knows that he's speaking to people and not just a crowd. I understand the helplessness you must have felt. You might, er, you've managed to muster up the courage and start a new life in this world, but even here, it's already been decided who will succeed and who will fail. The defeat you must have felt when you realized that those who are better than you had all, er, already had better supporting constellations when you've worked so hard to find yourself, or er, one yourself. Damn it. I've prepared this opportunity for people like you. The unlucky and the downtrodden will now get the chance to turn your life around. Wait, is he... Dokgak. I found it strange that the mid-level Dokubi were taking the place of low-level Dokubi. But I didn't expect to see a Dokubi from a major channel like him. And then we have a shot of uh, the catastrophe. Myung Il-sung? Was that his name? I know at least it was Myung, so I'll stick with that for now. Now, the boy you're seeing right now is a walking triple S grade item. His name is Myung Il-sung. Okay, so I was right. He was fortunate enough to be chosen by the Star Stream to travel to another dimension. You've imagined this at least once, right? You're summoned to a different world with immeasurable powers. You spend the night with your hot elf, or with your hot elf girlfriend. Save the world, become the hero of that world. That's right, this damn brat is the catastrophe you must hunt. How do you defeat a triple S grade catastrophe, you ask? Don't worry, his powers have been sealed away. Honestly? Dokgak, I think that was his name, brings up one hell of a point. So, say I am Ilsung, I am not relentlessly murdering... Well, I mean, I guess you probably don't have a choice. But if you do have a choice, if you're just... Let, let's let say that this was just an isekai. Like, he just got isekai'd. I am not killing and eating the wolves or bugs when, like, I am going wolf and bug girl harem route. Easy, like, easy choice for me. Not even, not even close. Not even considering going on a genocidal spree. Of course, like... Beyond that, even if for whatever reason they don't find my fleshy, naked human body attractive with no, like, fur or whatever, like, even if I'm stuck forever alone, morally, I'm still not genociding them, you know, just morally speaking. But then again, we also don't know if he had a choice, because he probably didn't. He was probably forced by the entire system that he's a part of to go through with it. Don't worry, his powers have been sealed away. And I wonder, since we're only seeing one leg, 
if Dokak only has one leg or if the other one is just up in their clothing. He may be strong, but he's a cre er, but he's a treasure chest waiting to be opened if you all join forces. Before here, I thought that Dokak... I mean, I guess, how do you really tell Dokubi gender? I thought Dokak was more masculine looking, but this panel, Dokak looks more feminine, so now I'm not quite sure. I'll just stick with they for now. What a manipulative bastard. No one will come if you call a catastrophe a catastrophe. But what if you call that catastrophe a treasure chest? The sub-scenario has been updated, and now we have triple S grade hunt. And it's difficulty B to triple question marks. It should be difficulty triple S, you would think. Uh, defeat the triple S grade hero, Myung Il Sang. I guess, well, he doesn't have all his powers yet, but still. Reward is 5,000 coins and the triple S grade item at random. And the penalty for failure is the destruction of the soul dome. Did the bleeding stop? He thinks. And I almost... Like, we know he's done terrible things, but I almost start to feel bad for him and wonder if he's going to turn things around and maybe somehow join the good guys. Over there, I found him. That's the boy, or the boy who's been to the other dimension. <clears throat> and here's the thing. So, actually, this is probably not a great way to think, <clears throat> because the way I was thinking was, oh, what if he switches up and joins the good guys, but I need to kind of check my biases, because the bias I was going with was he has a very good character design, so clearly he would be kind of important. But that bias has already been proven to be wrong, because we have had insanely good character designs in the past, or character, design, character designs you think would be important. Like, very much, straight from the beginning, uh, Kim Namun had a character design that looks like, oh, he will be part of the main cast, just like he was in TWSA. It makes perfect sense. But then he isn't. He's killed off, like, immediately. And then you have, like, the Tyrant King or some of these other characters who were also killed pretty much immediately. So, actually, having a good or unique or different design doesn't actually mean much in terms of staying alive in ORV. They just, like, all the designs look pretty good. So it's like, when everyone looks like a main character, no one's a main character. Uh, over there, I found him. That's the boy who's been to the other dimension. He's running towards them. You're right, that's me. Humans. You selfish jerk, you must have had some fun while you were there. Oh, I did. Huh. Hey, kill him. If you're that jealous, do you want me to send you there? What? Can we really go? Of course you can. But you do want to go, right? Yeah, I wouldn't mind going if I could. It'd be better than this piece of the eighth seal on the returnee. Uh, Myung Il Sang's been broken, ninth seal's been broken. Then goodbye. Although I doubt things are any better over there. What? The twelfth seal on the returnee and third seal is. and fourteenth, like thirteenth and fourteenth, they've all been broken. Because I destroyed that place. The returnee, Myung Il Sang, has used Middle Red Fire Cannon. So it's even stronger than the last blast he sent out. And Dokja pulls Seung out of the way. Jeez, just massive destruction. Like, things are definitely increasing in scale. What? How are we supposed to defeat him now? Anyone else want to go too? Show of hands, I'll send you there. We can take him down. The rewards will be better now that more seals have been broken. Are you kidding me? Let's just run. We can't beat him. It looked like you were going to give up earlier. Why are you er why are you so confident all of a sudden? I found you. You're still here. And her face. And his face as well. The detail on it. Huh? You're those people from the Hunters Association. Good, I was looking for you. You know, you've ruined my plans for a glorious return, right? And then that's... We get Cliffhung there? That felt like out of nowhere. Okay, and we get a recap of the scenarios. Remaining time, seven days. Hold on, was that... That was episode 82? That was all one episode? I've been reading over 20 minutes. Holy crap. That, that was... That was a long one. And it felt like... It felt like nothing... But it felt like so much, and ORV does that. That felt like 
so much in one chapter that like even other webtoons that feels like a good like two chapters worth let alone like compare it to manga that is like a couple months worth of manga in like one chapter wow that was a lot of content so much happened okay i'm kind of i like i'm blown away that was so fun that was so good i love that i really like myung il sung as like i i guess the antagonist here he seems like a kind of crappy guy actually like i thought maybe he had been turned crappy from the bad situation he was in and maybe he was going to get redeemed in some way but maybe he's just like a really maybe he's just a genuinely bad guy wow let's go to 83 okay on to 83 i found you you're still here you're those people from the hunters association good i was looking for you you know you've ruined my plans for a glorious return right that's where we just left off i was going to turn over a new leaf and then omniscient reader a reader's fight part one okay new uh, chapter and then this massive explosion teach the masquerade incarnations a lesson damn it break apart cocky coalitions and make love to pretty women but look at me now i'm a villain what are you gonna do about this we can never beat him he's gotten so much stronger than before and he's immediately caught up to them and is able to attack them both and i really love how Su young has kind of become dokja's equal dokja's kind of secondary because it's i mean the the sasuke to dokja's naruto the <laughs> the uh, bakugo to dokja's izuku it it really feels like she has become the uh the sort of second here to dokja for me like yu jungkook is different like i feel like in some ways yeah, I feel like Yu Jin Kyuk is different. I feel like even though Dokja to me stands on his own as far as like the actual human characters here, though he stands on his own, Su Young is like the kind of next one up there with him. Jun Kyuk to me almost feels like Jun Kyuk feels different to me. And then we see him saying, "You don't stand a chance fighting him head on." I know, but I've got to try, don't I? How could you let things get so out of hand? What? You've had many chances. If you had killed Solhua, or if you'd worked with Lycone to kill Antinous, you could have stopped the catastrophe. Spread out. I'm not a regressor like you. If I, er, I have to be cautious because I'll die if I fail. I have to think things over and over. And I didn't have the guts to jump in when Lycone was fighting. Be cautious? You gotta be kidding me. Do you think you're a constellation or something? And then he thinks of something. You cannot be in control of everything just because you know the future. And he's surprised. I was arrogant because I'd read the novel. I believed I could find a way no matter how the original story was twisted. Maybe that's why the situation's worsened. Damn it, Jin Kyuk may be right. I'm not omniscient just because I've read the original novel. Personal skill, fourth wall's been activated. Then why don't you step up and fight? Why are you counting on someone like me? Pathetic. You may not need the way of the wind to beat him. What do you mean? That skill's a must. My attribute is pro gamer. What's yours? <laughs> what? I'm asking you what you're good at. And he thinks, what I'm good at. And he stops. Huh? Why aren't you running? Are you really going to fight me? Did you forget how I beat you up just now? What it? What is it? I seem to be missing something important. Let's calm down. What I'm good at. That is... Reading. Level 1 of Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint activated. And then... Right shoulder. He avoids it. A phrase left behind by the naval warfare god engulfs your sword. The stigma sword song's been activated. Today I have prepared myself for death. I wish upon the heavens that I may annihilate the enemy forces. Good RNG in this economy? Your combat abilities have been enhanced due to the determination for victory. Blade of Faith has been activated. 
And then we have this really great vertical panel. Or I guess horizontal panel? And then Dok just slashes and then is surprised. Head. You're doing pretty good. Head, 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 head. Just, just warning him so much. But he can't, even if you can know the future, can you avoid it? He still gets hit. Character Myung Il Sung is impressed by your fortitude. Your understanding of the character Myung Il Sung is increased. Damn it. I can't beat him with just the information I have on him from TWSA. I can't take into account every move he makes when fighting. What's the use when I can't dodge his attacks? Should I use the Gam Pyong Gui? If I could beat him, or I could beat him if I get help from a constellation, but I don't want to be indebted any further. Damn it, I wish I had talent. If I could steal someone's talent. Hold on. Wait. Steal. Dokja, you idiot. How could you have not thought of that? Are you really going to keep fighting him? And then... Oh, can she sees the book above him? Personal skill bookmarks been activated. Number of avail er, available bookmarks, four. And he has Namun Kim, Lee Hyun Sung, Chong Yin Ho, and an empty slot. An additional slot's been added. Characters that can be added. Okay. Interesting. So he has Lee Sol Hua, Min Ji Won, Jung Yong Hu. Interesting. I wouldn't have even thought he had a 10 understanding. Han Dong Hoon, uh, Anna Croft only one, and Gong Pil Du. Hmm. Who would be the good choice here? I guess going... He doesn't know... Lee Sol Wa, or didn't know her that well, so it would be hard for him to use her abilities to the fullest, I think. But Poison seems like maybe a good idea. He has a good understanding of Min Ji Won, but I don't really know how her abilities help. Gong Pil Du he has a really good understanding of, and Gong Pil Du has good abilities, but it seems like maybe fighting like just head on power with head on power isn't a good idea against Ilsong? Ah, I don't know. Jun Kyuk isn't here as expected. Sang and Gil Young, who are not characters, are also missing. And he smiles. Found it. I knew he'd be here. How could I have forgotten that he's also a character? Oh? Is he going to go for Lycaon and use the Way of the Wind because of Lycaon? Or is he going to go for Ilsong himself because his understanding's increased? Um, duration of the bookmark skill will be determined based on your skill level duration 30 minutes. So I wonder which it is. If he's going to go Ilsong versus Ilsong, or if he's going to go Lycaon so that he can use Way of the Wind. It might even be something else. Your understanding of the characters reached a significant level. You can choose to make one of their skills your own. Okay, so it is Lycaon. And then she's shocked. What? I thought you weren't able to learn that skill. I love this, because Dok, Dokja's always had these abilities from the start, but now he's he's really he's really pulling him he's really pulling his abilities that he's always had out to their out to a higher potential and really using them in a smart way. I love it. And we have him still fighting off the avatars, and then he's surprised. Dokja comes in and concaves his face. Sending him flying back. He crashes into the ground. Huh? You've gotten faster. Oh, I see. That's the skill the wolves use. I am a reader. Way of the Wind level 8 has been activated. And this is how I fight. Why did I try to learn the skill like a moron? I'm not a regressor or a returnee. And then, fourth one, Prince of the Immune Tar like Aon. Tempest in the left hand, and storm in the right. The way of the wind will open up where the straight and curved meet. I can now make sense of the phrase that had just been gibberish before. You act like you've had an epiphany with that lousy skill of yours. You know what? I was the one who killed their king. Character Myung Il Sung has used Blink level 4. Blink again? Has he gone to look for someone to answer his questions? He ends up with a bunch of random people. Hey, what's your name? What? 
And of course, anything counts. But Dokja immediately catches up to him using the wind. He blocks him, though. The 24th seal on the return e Myung Il Sung has been broken. That tickles. Damn it, I was too late. I can't kill him just by using the way of the wind as a support skill. I have to use that skill. <laughs> I love whenever, you know, anime, manhwa in this case, anything, bust out that skill, that person. The problem is, someone needs to buy me some time. Okay, somebody's coming in. Are we going to have Junkyuk maybe? Huh? And we have this purple attack landing. Did something fall from the sky? Oh, and he's surprised, or is this going to be somebody else? Okay, a boot is on his head, actually. He's down. Yeah, it is Junkyuk. Man, what a great panel. Okay. Junkyuk. Get started. I'll stop him. Subscenario Triple S Grade Hunt. Okay, and we have the recap for all of that, recap for all of that, remaining time seven days, and that's the end of the chapter. This is so good. Wow. Again, lots of action. The action's incredible. A part of the action being so good is how good the art is. The art is so amazing in ORV. So we have that. Ah, oh, man. That's so good. And like I said, the biggest thing to me is Dokja always had these abilities. This isn't something new. This isn't something out of nowhere. He is pulling out what he's already had at a greater level, at a greater extent. But either way, I guess that's it. Let's go on to uh, chapter chapter 84. Sorry, sorry. Well, I my hair just falling out on me. I'd, I'd felt it coming loose, but then... Ugh. I felt it coming loose, but I didn't know how bad it looked. There we go. Back to normal. Okay, 84. Okay, finishing things off at 84. Let's see what we get. Okay, still got the shot of Junkyuk. Junkyuk, why is he... Don't tell me he came to beat me up. Didn't he say it would take him two days to recover? Get started. I'll stop him. Man, he sure is the main character, am I right? This is getting a bit annoying. You're really making me look like a villain now. And then he turns around and attacks. And again, yeah, you're fighting the main character. You very much look like a villain at this point. He clashes with Junkyuk's sword. It seems I haven't fully recovered yet. And I just think it's so funny, the, like, trench coat, the sword, the I'm a pro gamer. Junkyuk is just such a dork. I love it. Seems I haven't fully recovered yet. Hurry, Dokja. And then the four winds meet to form a fortification, and the four winds meet again in the shape of a trigram. Oh, he ends up grabbing on to Junkyuk's arm and going in for punches, sending him flying back. And then, what is this? What are you... The winds start coming in towards his face. Therefore, the wind is everywhere and nowhere. There's a massive cyclone forming. And it forms a prison around him. Vacuum prison. This is why I wanted to learn the way of the wind. This is the best way to beat the catastrophe of questions. Is he going to deprive him of oxygen? Level 2 of Omniscient Reader Viewpoint activated. What is this? Why can't I speak? Is this some kind of magic? Penalty is in effect for the catastrophe of questions. The power of the returnee Myung Il Song has been weakened. I can't breathe. The 24th seal on the returnee Myung Il Song has been regenerated. No. The skill costs too much mana. The catastrophe of questions keeps asking questions, not only because that's a way for him to get his power back, but also because his powers are sealed away. If he doesn't ask any questions for a while, damn it, let me go. Release me. The 23rd seal on the return e Myung Il Sung has been regenerated in the 22nd. Although they can become powerful very easily, it's just as easy to weaken them. 
The game has to be fair after all. So if there is going to be, well, one catastrophe is already not going to happen because of the dragon being summoned, right? And he's another. So are there going to be three other people who were sent to other worlds? Uh, the game has to be fair after all. Those Dokubi sure have great sportsmanship. The 21st seal's regenerated. Damn it. Damn it. I have to hold him until all the seals are regenerated. If I can reduce the size of the vacuum prison to surround just his body, I'd use less mana. Why is this thing so hard to control anyway? But the thing is, even, like, if they slowly get him back down to a lower seal level, like, even at seal level, like, 5 to 7 or whatever, he was still, like, really powerful. And then the ninth seal's regenerated. Don't try to control the wind with your strength. You have to guide it gently. And then Jinkyuk comes up. Don't think of it as building a wall around him, but rather simply removing the matter surrounding him. And he's screaming in his mind while trying to break his way out. But even then it's starting to fail. I can't breathe. Impressive. You do have a little talent in you, after all. And he tries to fire off a beam. The character Myung Il Sung is used large red fire cannon, level 3. Wait, there are people that way. What is that, a catastrophe? Don't do anything foolish. Their lives aren't worth saving, says Jin Kyuk. You may be right about some of them, but not all of them are like that. I can do this. He's not that strong right now. That must have taken all the power he had left, and Dokja runs in. I can err, and I feel like I can control the wind easier now. It feels as if I've become one with the wind. The talent hidden within your spirit has blossomed. Tempest in the left hand, and storm in the right. Oh, so this is what it feels like. And then we see Catastrophe of Questions roaring, flames, that moment, begging for their lives. This is how the characters see the world. The thickness of the personal skill fourth wall is thin temporarily. He's getting immersed like never before. Die, you bastards, die. And Dokja comes in front of the blast and puts his hands out. And his palms get burned as he tries to hold it back. Man, this looks so good. And he's able to dispel it. What the hell? By sending all the energy upwards, it seems. He's left injured afterward, though. I mean, he was already pretty injured, to be fair. Dokja's just been through a bit this week. And then Jinkyuk helps him. I'm gonna be the one to kill you. I was wondering why that didn't deplete more mana. When did he get here anyway? Did Jinkyuk transfer his mana to me? Wow. All the seals and the returnee, Myung Yil Song, have been regenerated. Personal skill way of the wind level 8 has been deactivated. And he falls to his knees coughing. I'll kill you if you ask any questions. Keep your mouth shut. Th this can't be. Myung Il Sung was a mere 17 year old high school student. He was once a naive child who was chosen as the hero to save Kronos. He probably didn't want to turn out like this either. I'm supposed to be the main. And then, character. Your understanding of the character Myung Il Sung is increased, and he stabs him. Or Jung Hyuk does, rather. Makes more sense. You're the first in the scenario to fight and defeat the returnee. Main contributors, Kim Dokja, Yu Jung Hyuk. You've received 40,000 coins for your achievement. You've received a new fable. The fable, the one who fought against a miracle, has been added. And it looks like he disintegrates. You've obtained the possibility for a new stigma, and Junkyuk leaves him behind while Seung's running up. 18, A Reader's Fight, Part 2. I say it every week, but I'm not sure Reader just gets better and better every time. That was so good. Man, this week was incredible. I love these chapters. That fight was so good. The character stuff is so good. I really like Jung Kyuk and you or <laughs> Jung Kyuk and Dokja's stuff together. That's so good. Like I said, 
he and Jung Hyuk feel it, it's easy to feel like Dokja is his superior because he knows so much being the reader and everything, and he is our main character. We are Dokja's reader. But at the same time, if there are rivals, they seem like rivals. Because Jung Hyuk is like, I'll be the one to kill you, even though Jung Hyuk is a character. And the two of them are deeply, deeply, deeply connected as reader and character. Like, as reader and main character, I should say. So it's like they are like rivals, but also I love Su Young's part in the story where even though she hasn't even been around as long as some of the others, she really does feel like the number two to Dokja, the sidekick, the the secondary, uh, not even really secondary protagonist, but like the one right there behind Dokja. I really, really, really love all this. Okay. That was very good. I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this week's chapters, my thoughts and reaction. And I wonder now, because we still don't know, after they got separated, we don't know where um, Pildu Gong ended up after getting separated from sang -ah. We don't know where Hyun Sung ended up, where Min Sub, or I still always forget the other guy's name. We don't know where they ended up. Uh, we don't know where... Uh, his uh, Jung Chuk's sister ended up, or Gil Young, if I didn't already say Gil Young. So there are characters that have been separated. I guess Minji Won might still be alive. Maybe. Maybe. But um, yeah, all these characters have been separated. So we, I don't know if we'll see them now that we're done with the first catastrophe. If we'll see any of the other catastrophes. Are the other catastrophes going to be... Like, we know the person with the prison people is going to take out one of them, right? So that one we might not get to see on screen, but that means at least two more we might see on screen. And they might also be people from another world. Huh. There's a lot to think about. Uh, like if you did like the video, though, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of these three chapters, my thoughts and reactions and all that. Subscribe for more Omniscient Reader, much more on the channel. It'd be very much appreciated. Would love to see uh, at the higher number there, even though I don't really care about the number. I care about all of you here having fun. But it would be pretty, pretty neat uh, to finally get a little bit more uh, subs. Um, if you'd like to talk on Twitter, you can follow there. If you want to talk on Discord, just ask and I can give you a link to the Discord server. It's free and open for anyone. If you'd like to help support the channel to help me to continue to make videos like this and much more, then uh, throw a super chat down or super thanks uh, down below if you'd like to. Uh, or if you want to not only support the channel, help me to continue to make videos, but also to get One Piece videos a bit early, to get shout outs at the end of every single video, then you can become a patron or channel member by hitting join down below to become a member or going to patreon.com slash haku of the tubes or a link will be in the description to become a patron. Uh, thank you to people who are already patrons and members, as I said. Thank you so much to Chosen Regular Evan Holly, to Magical Girls, Efrenono and Abyss Knight, to Cheriton Students, David Langstaff, Folded Ghoul, uh, to Slayer Candidates, SG and Stan Cedar, and to Pure Element, uh, Pate Ariel, thank you all so, so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.